Hello everyone. So I've been meaning to uh, do this video for a little while now because um, the mod was new back then, but uh, I just uh, didn't get around to it. So uh, this is going to be a short impressions video about the mod Dimitrios Polyorchitis. So as you might have noticed from the campaign screen there, uh, this mod is essentially an overhaul of the Wrath of Sparta campaign. And it turns it into um, the the campaigns of Demetrius uh, Polyorchitus, the besieger. So, um, yeah, Demetrius was a king of uh, Macedon, an early king of Macedon, or an early post-Alexander king of Macedon. And um, he was very ambitious. And because of his... Um, inclination to go for um, incredible sieges like I believe he had a siege of Rhodes that didn't quite work out in his favor but he tried um, and that's why he's known as the besieger and uh, in the regular Wrath of Sparta campaign um, like if you play as Athens or Sparta there are like far-off colonies and things but not so here uh, so Sparta and Athens are pretty uh, set in their small little kingdoms and republics there. Uh, Lysimachus is a is your big opponent, probably your biggest opponent, b besides uh, the rebel Boeotian or Boeotian uh, rebels. And the Aetolians don't like you, the Bithynians don't like you, Lysimachus is at war with you, Epirus doesn't like you. Um, yeah, no one likes you. So the only... The only kingdom that really has some far-flung territories is Macedon. Um, and you also have a bunch of uh, client kingdoms. So actually, I'll just start up a campaign here. Just to uh, showcase some of the changes here, because uh, as I said, it's pretty straightforward. It's an overhaul of the Wrath of Sparta campaign. And I would say um, it is... Um, less of a grind than Wrath of Sparta. So, uh, because, so your one territory in Asia Minor is here, Miletos. And, uh, yeah, you're in a bit of trouble. Wait, who's your general here? Yeah, it's not Demetrius, okay. Uh, yeah, you've got... Ephesus, which is neutral next to you, and you've got Lysimachus attacking you. So, in any case, there's war all over the place. So, these uh, territories here, Ikaria, uh, the Nesiotic League, these are your these are your vassals, your client states. Andros as well, uh, the Euboean uh, cities as well. Uh, Athens is also your client state, so is Corinth. And you've got these cities here as well. And uh, other than your client states, uh, nobody else likes you. And so what was I saying at the beginning? I was saying that uh, this is a less grindy campaign. I really like the Wrath of Sparta map, by the way. It's very... I just like the look of it. Um, it looks much nicer to me than the regular Grand Campaign map. But uh, in any case, um, this campaign is less grindy than the Wrath of Sparta campaign for a couple of reasons. Uh, but the most important reason is that cavalry are actually worth something here. So um, you do start out with some horse corrals and things, but... Um, once you unlock the Xistoforoi, the, the Lancers, as well as uh, the Hetairoi, your heavy cavalry, these uh, uh, cavalrymen have good charge bonus. So uh, you'll actually be able to um, really punch uh, the flanks of enemy infantry units, even though they, they are mostly, again, spearmen, hoplites, units of that nature. So the art style is pretty much unchanged from vanilla. It's pretty similar. 
Um, no, here's Demetrius himself. And so he's got some Xistophoroi and his bodyguard are Hetairoi, heavy cavalry. So that's good to see. Um, and of course, right at the beginning, he can recruit uh, Ballista and Polybolos siege weaponry. And uh, actually, Demetrius starts out with um, a couple of siege techs, which is nice. So if you want to roleplay, you can just go for all the siege techs, uh, like Battering Ram. That allows you to get the Field Engineer's Workshop, and then you can construct catapults. But um, in any case, yeah, you start off in a pretty tough situation. And you can also play as, of course, uh, Athens, uh, Sparta. Who else can you play as? You can play as um, the Ptolemaic Empire, which has some territories at the bottom. Uh, the bottom right of the map here. And uh, yeah, other than that, the world is your oyster. You can lead Dimitrios Poliorcetes to victory. And uh, other than that, um, what else do I want to say about this mod? This mod is, um, it's very nicely done. You know, the Wrath of Sparta map is, um, it has so much potential. And so I'm glad to see someone um, actually trying to make use of that potential because uh, this map really deserves it. Um, but in any case, uh, let's, let's do a battle here just to showcase some of the units, things like that. So let's recruit some troops for Demetrius here, our king. Um, I guess I'll move him south just for the purposes of this uh, showcase. I'll upgrade his troops and I'll give him some... Uh, well, he has some Sarisophoroi and some uh, Hoplites. So he could use... You know what? Let's go for some siege weaponry. And cavalry. So, yeah. Uh, oh, I can make an edict. So let's do that. Uh, let's go for uh, bread and games. Oh, another edict. Well then, if you insist. That one is not fully under my control. This one is out of goal list. So here I'll go for, uh, I'll do bread and games again. But in any case, if you liked the Wrath of Sparta map and you were disappointed by um, the the gameplay of Wrath of Sparta, because a lot of people, they were okay with the campaign gameplay, but they were not okay with the grindy battles and cavalry being not good enough to make the battles active, more active than they were. They were very static. I have to say, um, then this might be a mod you would like to try, especially if you like uh, the Hellenic setting here. Um, so let's stop recruiting there. So if, if I attack these guys, okay, well, let's give it a shot. I mean, it seems like uh, this is going to be the first battle if you choose uh, Lysimachus or Demetrius. So uh, let's give it a shot. So Lysimachus seems like he has a cavalry units, but mostly infantry. So let's see what we can do here. Let's take a look at our units. So yeah, our general here has Polytai Hippias. So not um, not the Lancer Cav, not the heavy Hetairoi Cav. So th this is a bit of a step down. This is like melee cavalry here. But they look very nice, I have to say. And let's check out our uh, 
salary of 40 and yep they look pretty nice and these are the basic hoplites the kind of levy hoplites here yep they look good too so on with the show I need our reinforcements to get here right now. Okay, so let's get these uh, slingers up to the front there. And uh, so this is one of those mods that uses native names. So if, if you don't like things like that, then uh, this might not be the mod for you. But I mean, I like it. These are So the mob is called Oculos here. Um, but I like, I like native names. I'm fine with it. Okay, so the enemy is moving their cavalry in. So let's get our hoplites and our other infantry to get these guys because um, I don't know why they're doing this. It seems like a bad idea on their part. I mean, yeah, they'll get some of my slingers, but I'll get all their cavalry. Okay, Hermogenes, let's crush these guys. It does look colorful. The units, they look um, pretty good, I have to say. And actually, I'd like to thank um, my Cataphract uh, member, channel member, um, Heath Dion, for helping me out here and actually donating an internal SSD to the channel. So now you can expect to see more content in general because I, I'll be able to work on everything faster, but also more, um, more modern content as well because everything will just load a lot faster. So actually I'm noticing that their cavalry is fairly strong here. So it took quite a bit of swarming there to get their um, uh, defeat their cavalry but it turned out okay so let's get these infantry together yeah I'm not playing this very well but uh, forgive me and let's get our cavalry into position Oh, they're not on skirmish mode. I always forget that in Rome 2, it's skirmish mode is often not on by default. Okay, you guys, get in there. Okay, so we got those guys. That's good. So now let's get our troops into position here. Oh, they have some Agema infantry. Looking good. Okay, Hermogenes, let's charge into the flank of this uh, hoplite unit and uh, see how it looks. Come on. Okay. And... Okay. So cavalry, that, that charge was definitely, I would say, stronger than a charge in regular Wrath of Sparta. Oh, guys, come on.
Who else do I have here? Yeah, I don't think uh, we'll be able to pull this out. I mean, I, I was looking at the units. I was not uh, managing very carefully. But you can see my mob here about to charge. The enemy uh, phalangites. Not a great idea. And let's have our general do something here. So yeah, these charges, I have to say, it looks like they knock down a lot of those guys, but uh, they don't actually... they're not fatal. So that's interesting. So I mean, uh, spear infantry, heavy spear infantry is heavy spear infantry. Cavalry is not good against them. So yeah, this first battle, uh, well, I definitely could have managed it a lot better. But uh, you can also see that the morale has been redone, and I actually like it quite a bit. Um, it seems like battles play out more like... more influenced by DV Day at Impera style battles rather than... Um, uh, rather than vanilla, which are a bit faster. But it's also, you know, the, the Wrath of Sparta battles. Um, I would say this battle played out faster than a Wrath of Sparta one would, and it was less grindy. It was less grindy. So in a Wrath of Sparta battle, there's a lot of just spear infantry slugging it out. Um, but it felt a bit faster than that, so that's good. But in any case, I hope uh, you enjoyed this little showcase for the Demetrius uh, Poliorcetes mod. Um, it's looking good, I have to say. It just got updated recently. Um, and it's, it uses the lovely Wrath of Sparta map, which is uh, one of my favorite maps that they added on to uh, Rome 2. I really like it. I think the city's included, and it's got a good amount of detail. They just did a good job on this map. I think. It just looks nicer. And then the bigger settlements, when you zoom in on the map like this, uh, the bigger settlements, they make a little more sense on the map. So they're not as uh, immersion breaking, they, though they still are fairly large. But uh, in any case, I hope you all enjoyed this little showcase. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.